All right, the map is Operation Adam, A-D-A-M. There are two bots because one person didn't ready up and the host wanted a bot. So that is it. Who is the one who didn't ready up? You are the one who didn't ready up. All right, is it both of them? All right, what's going on here? So we are last in the turn order aside from the bots. We are the blue player. These are the bonuses. Three, three, four, two, three, 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 two, two, three, four, three, four. And we, ooh, the bot gets a round one bonus. Surely nobody let the bot hold that bonus, right? Um, I have two here, one, five up here is a big stack, especially for five players. One, three, two, 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 and then we got a three and a four over here, but red has a six, unfortunately. That's a bad luck. I think this four we probably use to break the bot, just because why let the bot get strong? Um, or I have it hit over here and combined this stack. I would love to go for this because I got seven here, but red has six in their first turn order. They might see this one and go for it as well. Um... White seems to be going for this plus four over here in New Rope. We are playing progressive cards, by the way. Honestly, maybe I let the bot have this. Let the bot get strong here and they attack white. And maybe red. Maybe I just like focus on moving out of this direction. Or leave the four and a three here just to block red from getting this bonus instead of fighting them for it. And I can focus on this five stack up here. Um, where is where is not very well defended? Everything seems to have a lot of troops in it. Red going over there. Fighting for the five. Everything going here. Where are you going to go? You go for this bonus over here? I don't want to go to war with red. Um, I don't... Oh, that's actually really good for me. That's very, very lucky. That's very, very lucky. me. Red's trying to play uh, aggressive and greedy early on, which is good. That's usually how you win when there's no caps, is to play aggressive and greedy early on. Hope to get away with it. Hmm, what you doing here? You're going to roll, you know, 6v3, 6v4? I wouldn't do that if I were you. You don't gain much from doing this. What you need to do is just sit back and wait. That's not the play, man. I, I guess it is. If you get the god dice, 6v4, you only lose one, I lose four. There's the god dice. You break the magenta mod, okay. And you're attacking more than you... I think red is just kind of like giving up since they lost... Really? Red is the luckiest person alive. You are so stupid lucky, red. And you're still attacking? Red's a, red's a noob. Red's a, a brand new player. So we have... Myself, the white player, a new player, and two bots. This is going to be a, a crazy one. Okay, so what we do here, I wouldn't mind going trying to grab this. I mean, I could just, do I break red? With like, like how many do I need to break red? Stack three here, boom, 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 we break red. We make an enemy forever if we do that, though. I could just keep stacking here. I want to get a white's way, but I doubt, I mean, they could stack eight, three in this, have eight, hit here, seven, be five. I get bad dice, lose my five over there. Or they leave it alone this turn. I can do it another turn later. I want to grab this. Four troops for us. Um, he has 17 territories. I have eight. I've taken a lot of losses on my territories. But I think we want to go for this over here is our play and hope that they don't break us. Would be the move. That's enough to... Wait, no, 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 no. White has a four down there. I keep forgetting this is part of that. So maybe we don't go for that. So the four could hit this. Yeah, we go for... We go for this this turn, actually. That four changes things down there. We can come back to that later. We hit this. Losing one is not great. We hit this. White will most likely... I can't talk. White will get distracted by that and probably not worry about that. We hit this. And this gives us a bonus. Which is good. We leave, I think, that for defense. And... And then we fortify this over to here and now that gives us a plus two bonus you're getting a plus three just getting a bonus at all is a good start and not angering red because they're crazy i need somebody to attack a couple of red's territories they're not getting that extra because they get five just from having 15 territories if somebody can knock that down to 14 they only get an extra an extra one from having the territories right will the bot break red it might it very well might. He killed your four stack without letting you move it. I'd say he's already an enemy. He the the, the thing about the thing about it is it's it's a two way street. It's one. Do I perceive him as an enemy? Kind of, sort of, but also no. He's just kind of a noob. I think doesn't really. He's he's not paying attention to the social aspect as far as he's focusing on what he can do, or they are, and they're not paying attention. Um, because it could be a girlfriend, I know, and they're not paying attention to somebody break red bot to not break red um they're not paying attention to uh the other players social fat 
When he attacked that four, he's not thinking, hmm, is blue going to get mad about me breaking their four? Oh, he's going for this. He's he's not going for this bonus. He's going for that. All right, all right. That's a plus three for you. Oh, you think you used to think about trying to grab this whole world over here. I don't think we let that happen. All right. Red loss of territory. That's good. I don't really want you... Here's the thing. I could have broken red last turn. I could have broken... I could break white this turn, but I don't really want to have bad relations with you. I'd rather just grab this over here and just have borders with you, I suppose. I think, maybe. Yeah. The reason we're, we're getting... It's only... The thing about it is, there's only three humans in the match. So... so if I go to war with war, with if I go to war with red, what's going to happen? We self-destruct on each other. White sits back and cleans up. Anytime there's three people in the match, anytime there is three people in the match and the rest are either no, just bots or just there's only three people left at all, that is a it's a 1v1v1. So if red and I go to war, all white has to do is sit back and build up. So right now, the winning play when there's three humans is to avoid going to war with anyone at all costs. Especially when uh, Red is clearly a new player, and new players are more likely, I mean, veteran players do it too, I do it too all the time, but new players are more likely to hold a grudge for somebody breaking their bonus, and then they might self-destruct on you, or if they're really determined, they might spend the next, you know, the entire rest of the match sticking around, doing their best to take advantage of progressive to sabotage you and slam you. So it's, it's very dangerous to go to war with somebody who has basically the same amount of troops as you do, especially if they're first in the turn order. So, breaking them is not a great, great idea at this point in the game. What I want to do is I want to sit back and get my bonuses and maybe let the bots break them. Maybe let white break them. Maybe let white and red go to war. You know? Red doesn't really know what to do next by the looks of things. I think... I want to get another bonus. Which bonus do I go for next? This one only has three troops in it. This one only has two troops in it. I don't want white to get... I don't want white to get all of this. In no world do I want white to get all of this at all. I mean, I could stop that simply by having this three that defends this. Move right there. Because I'm not sure I can... Ho like, right now, if I try to grab this, I have to protect one, um, two... I gotta also fortify this over to here, but I still gotta protect this. One, two, three, four five, six points to block against. That's a six point hold for a plus six bonus. That's not really going to happen. I could try to grab this over here and probably get away with it and then fortify this over here and it's only, yeah, I think that's a much better play. Let's just grab this little bonus over here. It's only uh, two more points. The hold's not too bad. Good dice, good dice. Terrible dice. Good dice. I hate my life. I hate my life. Are you kidding me? I lose two and I can't win an 89% chance. The dice hate me. The dice hate me. It's fine. We can come back from this, but that's really unlucky. Stupid unlucky dice. A, 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 a 6v... Was it 2 or something like that? Or 6v3? Lost or lost 2. And I couldn't win an 89% chance? That's so unlucky. And, oh, I just now realized green's got 6 stack there. I need them to fortify that away. The bot will break them for me. That's great. Fantastic. Do the work for me. But yes, yeah, 6 attack that one. And then fortify away. And then fortify away. I might just leave... Now that the bots, if the bot keeps that four in there, I might just leave that be and then go for this. Count my losses. We had bad luck there with the dice, but white had bad luck with the with the green bot breaking them. So it might work out okay for us. Might work out okay for us. I could get broken from behind here. Honestly, it's a plus two bonus. Getting broken is not that big of a deal on a plus two bonus. Red's getting very lucky that Magenta's bot is not doing a lot to them. So that's fortunate for them. I, like, it's fairly even on the board. Magenta Bot's kind of low on troops. Magenta, Magenta Bot's having a rough time, but... Troop-wise, the, the three human players are doing all right. Luck's fairly even. You can attack that 3v2 and win? No, you attack over to there. Wait. You're a bot! Oh, I'm not sure I can even make a YouTube video out of this. If it's, like, one person... The host put in a bot. One person didn't ray up, so that's two bots. We're on round three. White got broke, so now they're a bot. That just leaves me and Red. Here, have an alliance. <laughs> if they're as new as I think they are, they're not going to realize that uh, White's a bot. So basically, all I need to do now is just get strong, survive the bot. I, I need to position myself so the bots don't go to war with me. And that the I need to like push the bots into Red. That's all I need to do. That's it. Man versus machine. 
I mean, that's a good title for a video right there. <laughs> I mean, it is the second channel after all, right? CG versus new versus two bots. I, I like the I like the title "Man versus Machine." Remind me of that at the end of at the end of the match if we decide to make a video out of this. Who knows? It's a side channel. You know, they might enjoy me stomping a couple noobs. The fact that White left as soon as they got broke tells me they're they're also newer player because they're still in this. It was, it, we were all even on troops. Any one of us could have won this game. I think it's probably unlikely that Red does based on the 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 noobish. Behavior, I'm, the newer player behavior. I need to stop saying noob. Some, somebody left a comment the other day. My, one of my video be like, oh, stop saying noob. Uh, you're not even that good yourself. I don't like. I'm a noob too. Calm down. You know, whatever. But like, look at look at how long it's taking Red to like decide what to do. They're probably fairly new. In fact, I could go through and break them and soften them up because they're getting bigger faster than I am. Because well, they got away with they got they had god tier luck on this attack over here. 6 v 4 if they lose 1. I did what, like a 6 v 2 and I lost 2? Like, seriously? Right? The Newberry, you're all noobs. I need to start saying newer player, right? 4 v 3 and they win, because they have- they get- am I gonna lose this guy because they get god dice all match and I get terrible dice all match? Maybe? Oh my goodness, how long is the turn timer, brother? Two minutes, two minutes, this guy's using every single second of it. He's gonna win just by testing my patience. <laughs> I need to break him so he gives up, becomes a bot and stop wasting my time. Uh, five troops for us. All right, let's just go ahead and... 8v4, 99% chance. Only lost two, they're finally a touch of luck. Um, lose none? Lose on, finally. We break them to break their spirit, there we go. And... Do I keep attacking more? Or I'll leave that three, force them to break it with their... Um, I need to take away more of the territory so they get less of a bonus. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going. There we go. Uh, I don't think it's likely I take away, uh, three more territories, so they'll get four troops next turn. Six before... I mean, they can reclaim it, but we did our work there. And I'm going to fortify back over to here in case the green bot wants to go for this bonus. Now, if the white player hadn't botted out... I mean, there's a chance the white player could come back from being botted out. Um, but I kind of doubt it. If they, if they bought it outright as they got broke, and they're probably just a newer player rage quitting. Uh, the green player took out Magenta, trades their cards. Here's the thing, we still need to beat the bots. We still need to beat the bots. It occurs to me, he could stack his four right here and slam me here. I just needed, I just need to beat Red Knot getting crazy strong over here. I don't want him getting so strong that he can beat the bots. Ah, the green bot is going for it. Being good at risk is the pinnacle of all intelligence? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Seven troops to white player. All right, this is... I need to get myself some bonus and stuff, too. I mean... I, I need to figure... I, honestly, this might be my next spot to hold a bonus. It's a one... It's a three-point hold for... Plus three is not good, honestly. But I need to get something somewhere. I don't want to try and protect myself against the... This is a, a one, two, three, four-point hold on the border of a bot. I don't like that. Um... This is a three-point hold. Two hold against the bots. I don't know. Um, I might have to like, just I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to like take my sweet sweet time getting another bonus, and let the bots go to war with each other. Keep my one bonus so well fortified. They might be they might be botting out. <laughs> they might be botting out. Oh, uh, I mean, if this guy bots out, the rest of the match should be pretty quick. Of me beating these bots. Risk experts in chat. If, um... If if this guy bots out and they're all bots, and I leave the match, do I, like, get first and get all the points? Like, do I... Should I even waste my time cleaning up the bots? Like, it's so much... Is, like, who wants to watch a video or a stream of some guy cleaning up bots? Is Red still here? They're offline. Okay, so... Unless White or Red come back, it's just me versus bots. So... That's a thing. Um... I mean, I could just try and grab this and... Yeah, we can try. We can just try and hold this, I suppose. Grab this. Don't fortify it too crazy. We can do that, and then fortify. I don't know. One over to there. Um, no, the AI continues, and whoever wins is how it's ranked. So, okay, so the AI just controls for them. You don't get the points, and so I have to. So I have to beat the bots. You can time lapse beating the bots. This, anything, anything here goes to the side channel. Oh, this guy could come and break me. 
Any anything I do on stream goes to the side channel unedited. That's it. Oh, unlucky. That's that's brutal. So I seen the sea of blue and gold for the board would be good to watch. Yeah. You know, we, we can we can try and find out. I'll I'll try and beat these bots and we can toss the video up and see how people feel about it on the YouTube comments. You guys tell me in chat here. Honestly, this might be a tough fight. 39 troops, 46 troops, still a bot, still a bot, haven't come back. The green bot breaking me not great, honestly. I, but uh, you know what? I don't love trying to hold three, a three point hold on a plus two is kind of stinky. This is a three point hold on a plus three, plus a better expansion, I think. Maybe not there, but over here. Like I've got a plus three over here, three point hold. Grab this, it's plus six with a one, two, four point hold. I like that better. And it also puts me in a corner, nestled away from the bots a little bit more. Because the bots, you want to be away from the bot where they have their stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm nestled over here, like, I want to be somewhere where the bots don't have bonuses. The bots don't have a bonus here. They don't have a bonus here. Please don't hit my 4v2. No bonus here. No bonus here. So the bots will be slamming each other. I can sit back here, recover from my meager 21 over here. Plus six for us is great. I'm actually going to put... I should fortify that over there. Um... Did I grab that now? I can probably defend it. We'll do I'll say everything right there. Hope that four won't hit my two. We hit this and get good dice. We lost none. Great dice. Oh, I just realized we have to. Well. Um, if White wants to break me there, I'll let them. I only lose one troop. We'll lose the bonus, but I I don't, I don't think I can't split this and risk them breaking me there and losing more troops. And let's fortify. Because I gotta worry about reds four over here. If they break this, so be it. If they break that, so be it. If we're lucky, this red four doesn't hit and just goes over there, or they just don't move it at all. But now they can break each other a little bit. I can also like just test and see how quickly I can take them out here. Man, that blue bot, that green bot, slim miles everywhere. I'm down to ten territories. Yes, fight each other though. All right, so the, the this green bot wants these areas here. Uh oh. Well, rest in peace this, unless that unless it wants to do a 73. Alright. Alright, good, good, good. Doesn't break me. Doesn't break me. Fantastic. Love that, love that. I don't love them like fortifying up on this border, but I kinda need to. My expansion from here is either to here or to here. And this is a uh, easier to hold than this. This is a uh, right, if I want to hold this, it's an extra uh, we have a uh, two point we gotta defend against it. If we switch over to this, it these two would have to move out to uh one, two. Three? Does this connect everything? I guess three more is not so bad. That's only one more point to hold, but he's got ten troops in there, right? Stop hitting me! The <laughs> all my stuff, all my stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. How are we doing though? Hmm. We need to break you. I can just keep breaking you and have you keep. Re I don't like that the red's going over here. Why were you were up? You were chilling up here. Go back up there. Force trade on five here. Uh, we take this. That'll be fine. I need this to help shore up. I might break you, honestly. Uh, we'll see. Um, I kind of want to break you, but I don't want to hit a four or five either. Let's put... I don't know. I want to break you... Mm, I don't know how much. Let's put a ten stack here. Hope you won't break a ten stack. Let's put a ten stack here. Hope you won't break a ten stack. And the rest go here. I am going to break you for now and then we're going to fortify this back over to here and hope this holds if the bots trade on three if you trade on three you're gonna break me you could break me if you stack it there it depends what they do uh, if you trade on three um if you don't trade on three you're gonna get what three six nine if nobody breaks you plus your oh okay six Plus this, whatever. So you could easily stack everything right there and break me. There's a chance. It's it's a gamble right now. It's a gamble. Eleven troops for you, and yeah, you could stack it over here and break me. But bots tend to split it around usually. All right, it's good, 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 good. We will not be broken this day. It's fantastic. The bots tend to have like the their brains set on certain areas, and they tend to focus on this. The white bot seems to have their focus on this. Maybe this. So, that should be okay. You should be able to clean this up and do all right. 
Seven troops for the red bot. Oh, don't put all right there. Four is okay. Is that supposed to be the moon? I think, maybe. It makes sense to be the moon, right? Promethea Terra sub... Where that is? Utopia Planitia. They hit there, all right. We'll see, we'll see. Nine troops for us. Okay, so we... I'm not going to car trade on three. I will break you again, though. And... Let's get a 10 here for safety. Oh, let's put this up to like 13. I want to break you. Um, no. Not yet. So I hope you don't bother with me. Save my troops for now. Hit you back to three. And then fortify this back over to here. Back over to here. All right, so we're up to 46 troops. Here, <clears throat> sorry, got frog in my throat. Gonna... Sorry, I had a frog in my throat. If you're watching this on YouTube, this man versus machine video, which I'm probably gonna call it, um, let me know how you feel about watching a match like this where everybody bots out early. I've got the feeling that people are gonna be like, eh, once they all leave and become bots, why am I watching, right? Um, but I'm just kind of curious to let you guys just get some feedback from you on a larger scale. Um, let me, type, let me write down that uh, before I forget. Oh, go up there, huh? Oh, man versus machine. <laughs> Put these in the wrong spot, didn't I? Man versus machine. Sorry, I'm doing a thing. Man versus machine. A little car trade there, huh? All right, sorry. I was tabbed out, writing some notes there. Probably shouldn't do that in the middle of the match, but I mean, that's a wait for my turn, right? I don't like that 22 stack next to my border. That's going to take hit my 10 stack. I'm going to lose 10 troops and my, my plus three bonus. That's actually really devastating. But push comes to shove. I, I just card try to take it back. It'll be okay. If we're lucky that 22 doesn't hit my 10, it most likely does. Really? That's wild that the bot didn't hit me there. All right, I'll take it. I'll do another match one after this one. I don't know, maybe. Uh, do I card trade right here? No. In fact, what I do is we... I'm going to wait for them to... that bot to possibly turn in here. I will... That 10 beats that 3. We'll fortify back here. Let it break me that 19, because that 19 probably will... Attack next turn. I got, got lucky didn't that time. I'm actually going to let you break my 3 this time. Because I... I got lucky your 22 didn't attack my 10, but your 19 attacking a 10 or something right there. I want you to... that 19 to hit my 1, split in half, maybe fortify back, and then I just have this hit it back and take it. And I, I only lose 4 troops. 1 right here, and then 3 for not having the bonus. As opposed to like you hitting me, and I lose a 10 stack, and then the also the bonus for 3 is 13. What is this doing in here? I was not paying attention for a bit, little, little bit there. The bot did turn in, which means I would get 30 in my trade in. It was a good thing we waited. Could also go for an elimination at some point. Worm our way through the world. Give me an elimination would speed things up. Nine troops for you. Uh, 30 on my... I could have like 50 something right here. Hmm... Oh, it's not sure. I'm not sure it's worth eliminating right now, but I think it should be wrapping up pretty quick if we can chain some eliminations. I need to start getting one big stack fixed for elimination, I think. Instead of worrying about uh, bonuses. It's progressive. And I need to just make... As long as I make sure they're using their card trays to slam each other and not me, it should be okay. In fact, I could almost just like give up my bonuses and just have one big stack primed to roam through the board eliminating them. Right? Could do. Grab that back. Your 19 hits my 1. Or your 6 hits my 1. Well, so there's a 19. Yeah, exactly as we wanted. Didn't split, unfortunately. Do you fortify it away? Do you fortify it away? Or do we just give up on this point? No, you don't fortify it away. You did, it didn't split. You didn't fortify it away. Bummer. But, you know, honestly, I'm not worried about it. Um, plus, when you're getting every 3 turns, you're getting, you know, that. A plus 3 doesn't really matter much anymore. So, in fact, what I would actually do is we need to start working on having just one big thing to go for here. Uh, 19 versus 7? Sure, I guess. Bonuses are not really the thing to worry about now. Only loss 2 is great for us. 
And in fact, let's just go ahead and, I mean, if it's, if it's this easy to break you, um, I don't want to go through that five though. And that one doesn't connect to there. Break you a little bit, make you weaker. Start getting everything into one, one big position here. The bonuses don't really matter. On progressive, once you get to round like eight or nine or ten, sometimes earlier, bonuses become far less meaningful. Unless it's a really close match, which this is just gonna be me cleaning up bots. And I think we are going to. Who do we want to go for? Got almost everything into one stack here. We'll let them take. We'll let them take that bonus. This next turn, we're probably uh, ten stack. Put our troops here. Hit this. Fortify my, onto this, and then. This 70 is primed to go through whatever. I don't like it. You keep stacking this from me. Who will be the easiest to eliminate? Blue. That's me. Only has eight territories. Green only has seven. Green might be the one to go for. Green. Yeah, I think I think I think we go for green this turn. Get their three cards. That gives me immediate card trade again. And uh, then I can maybe go for red. Perhaps. Maybe this is the turn. Nope. Red card trades. So we don't go for them. We still get green though, unless. They put so many troops in the way, it's not worth. I mean, three cards. I mean, it's, it's worth it for three cards. Immediate card trade for 40. Yep, that's fine. Oh, weaken them up for me a little bit easier. Makes my pathing simpler. Here we are. I can also roll, roam through and break a few of their bonuses. I love you getting that plus 10 over there, or whatever it is. Plus 7. Looking pretty healthy over there, red. Almost as many troops as I do. They're doing pretty nice. They're doing nice with it. I'll have to maybe break a few of your bonuses. Six for us. We go for it this turn, I think. We go for it this turn. I don't like your 15 in my way, but it's only going to get bigger if I stay here, so... We lost eight. It's not so bad. We want to path the easy way if we can. So do... Wait, what do I do? I need to take this out. Duh. Take out green here. What am I thinking? All right, whatever. Uh, we go... Yeah, I'm going to go... F I have to go... Trying to think of my pathing here. Luckily, the host went on two minute timer, so I got plenty of time to think. And. I mean, I could just. It's not going to cost me too much to do this. Gives me more territories and stuff, and makes white easier to eliminate eventually, right? How many does white have? 23 troops? I can actually take you out this turn, white. I could take white out too and get their four cards. Yeah, that's pretty good. Because they'd probably card trade otherwise. And then just me and red. Card trade. Do the cannons, right? Give me these. And. We do this, we go for white and break red a bunch, start cleaning things up here, I think, and red, I'll deal with you in due time. Oop, could have lost that. Uh, let's put these back here, just kind of get some of the stuff a little bit easier, right, for the future. I could maybe, do I get red this turn as well? I don't know if I do. I don't, th I don't know if I do or not. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I will break some of your stuff. I'll work my way over to the white bot here. How much is my way here? I think we're fine. We break this. Take your time to it right. Never mind. We screwed it up. No, I can come through the other way. I can come through over here. We did not screw it up. I'll play this map enough. I'm making mistakes. My path thing, I think. Works out okay, though. Can I get this? We do. Could block myself back there with bad dice. It's not playing the best on that elimination. I, I, that was a sloppy elimination. It worked out because I had that 10 back there. Or if I had not done enough, that could have been bad. Uh, that, that can be some trap there. That gives us a car trade. That's fine. And can I get you this turn? What takes this out? Oh, does, oh, 15? And the rest over here. We go for this. Move that slider. Triple bot elimination is a single turn here. Show how it's done. I feel like my eliminations here are a little bit sloppy, but we're getting the job done. You give me a 60 second turn timer and I don't get this done in time. We're getting it done here. I can move this up all the way just in case. And we hit here and leave three. And we hit this. And that's how you clean up three bots in a single turn. Some of you new the game might appreciate learning how you do that. And there it is. You'll love to see it. But I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. And for those who are wondering, we can check the ranks before we end the YouTube video. And novice and novice, not a surprise, considering how they both left after they got broke a single time. But that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.